Good morning. Glad you could join us. When I leave here today, I am going to do a wedding rehearsal. Uh, so at the wedding rehearsal, I love weddings. I mean, weddings are, are, are a good thing to do. Actually, I drove by the venue the other day, and they already have the couple's names outside on this sign. It says, so-and-so, I'm marrying my best friend. So-and-so, and so-and-so, I'm marrying my best friend. It's pretty cool. So one of the things that we'll do is, at a certain point in the wedding, after they've exchanged vows, I'll turn to the best man, and I'll ask the best man to give me the rings. And he'll usually do something silly, pretend like he doesn't have them, whatever he wants to do, but eventually he gives them to me. And those rings... Those rings are an external reminder to people that, that you belong to somebody else. So, I've been married a while, but I can remember being single, and I can remember when I meet somebody, and I can remember trying to see their left hand. If you're trying to see their left hand, it means I've got some interest, and I want to make sure that you're not spoken for already. I had a little bit of a problem when I was uh, late teens. I got this this ring out in Arizona. It was a silver ring, and it had a design on it. But that design was heavier, and it would flip underneath. And so it looked like I was wearing a wedding ring. Because I was 16, and I put it on my ring finger. Nobody thought I was married. But at 22, I can remember getting some looks from some young ladies like, what are you doing here, Buster? Well, all of that to say that the ring speaks to us being spoken for that we belong to someone. I like this passage in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 21 and 22, borrowing some thoughts from Max Lucado in his book, Grace. Now it is God who makes both us and you stand firm in Christ. He anointed us, setting his seal of ownership on us, and put his spirit in our hearts as a deposit, guaranteeing what is to come. In Christ, God has given us his Holy Spirit. It's not as good as it's going to get, it's going to get better, but it is the deposit, the down payment, guaranteeing what is to come. So those times that you really sense God's presence, the joy, the peace, the patience, the grace, that's a foretaste of what eternity is going to be like. I think about that, though, as far as markings. You know, if you have, if you have books that you loan out to people, and I probably have some in my library, property of so-and-so, the problem is it's on the inside cover, and I don't see it all the time. There's actually for a, a sermon series that I'm, I'm doing right now on, on David, I know I had the book before, but I loaned it to somebody. And somebody didn't give it back to me, but I've done the same thing to other people. But yeah, we engrave our name sometimes on, on rings. We, we put it on like a, an iPad, uh, a, some kind of tool. We want to make sure our name is on it. I like how cowboys, they'll, they just brand the cattle. So I used to go to a dude ranch out in Arizona. I went to two dude ranches. Remuda Ranch, they had the double R logo, back to back, and Flying E, it was just an E and then a squiggle on each side. And the fun thing was, we'd go and do cookouts, and then at the cookout, they would, they'd, they'd put the brands right in the fire. And if you wanted to have a brand on your, on your boot, cowhide boot, which I have, I still have, they'd, just, they'd brand you, and then you, you knew who you belonged to. You belonged to that ranch. They also did ones with paint that they would put on your jeans. It was a fun thing to do. But the truth of the matter is that, that God has really kind of put His brand on us. And He has put His seal upon us. I love what it says in 2 Corinthians uh, verse 22 again. This is in the message. By His Spirit, He has stamped us with His eternal pledge, a sure beginning of what He is destined to complete. What God has started... He will bring to a completion. Just work with Him today. Invite Him to work in your life today. Be encouraged. God bless you. Have a great day.